So at first, open the Excel and save the file as the macro enabled and save. Then select the columns in the range that you want to use and shorten it to the 19 pixel and do the same for the rows. With this we are creating the grid in which we can paint. Once you have it done, just color it white so it's not distracting. Then you can start the drawing. So we will do the heart and at first we will do the edges. For that we will use the color black. And then we will fill in with the red color and some shadows. Once it is done, we will create a button that will start our animation. So create a button in the developer tab, insert the name animation and click OK. It will open the Visual Basic, but for the moment we can just go back to the Excel. Rename the button. And rename the sheet. So the first pictures is done, now it's time to do two more. One would be shrinking heart and the next one would be extended. So now we have all three done, so we need to put them into the sequence that would look naturally. So the sequence would be normal heart, shrinked one, normal, big, normal, big, normal, normal. So in the end it would be 8 frames in the total. For the code we will be writing, you don't need to rename it, but I like to keep it in the order. So now let's switch into the Visual Basic and let's start writing. So first statement is for looping the animation 10 times. And first step that within the loop will happen is that we will activate the first sheet with the normal heart. And then we will start to loop into the rest of the frames. So for that we will every time just select the next sheet in the order until we reach the last one. But if we would run it right now it would get immediately to the first page. So we need to create a new function that would delay it between the frames. First row, the uh, active sheet cell, it will select the A1 cell to make sure it will not distract the cursors. And then we will uh, create the delay function that would make the difference between the frames exactly 250 milliseconds. And now we can just click the animate and we are done.